do you really know about where you live? You drive the roads, you see the people, but the stories of the history behind an area may not yet be known. Spout Spring in Fayetteville is rich in black history, one unfortunately rooted in slavery. And while the neighborhood is trying to put the wrongs of the past in the rearview mirror, it could become a locally and nationally recognized historic district. The streets of Spout Spring in Fayetteville contain more than just names and addresses. They hold more than two centuries worth of stories in black history. Stories that began around 1823 when white settlers first arrived to Washington County. Senator David Walker, uh, he didn't come as senator but as an attorney, he bought land here and he also brought with him a boy, a, a black boy, and as an enslaved person, and then he just built that up. He ended up with one of the largest number of people here. Slavery was a pivotal part of the establishment of black populations in Fayetteville. Sharon Killian, the co-founder and president of NWA Black Heritage, says by 1865, 30% of Fayetteville's population was black, partially due to freed blacks coming to Fayetteville to avoid sundown towns in Washington County. They really couldn't run anywhere else, you know, except for going through here and going maybe further uh, north. Uh, but Fayetteville was a place to stop. But that didn't mean racial intimidation and erasure weren't still prevalent. We had to bring to bear all the things we've learned, you know, from being oppressed and how to survive and not be lynched. There was a place on the square that one could buy me. Killian says black families were forced to call Spout Spring home. It's an area in South Fayetteville that runs from Lafayette Street down to 15th Street. That's because if they lived on better lands with running water, whites might come and take over their land, pushing their families further south than Fayetteville. They said, we have to just push them down. They don't have to live near us. And the plan was to put us in like a pen, a 10-acre a ten pen. St. James United Methodist Church became one of the many staples in the community after being founded in 1861. Killian says religion was an outlet for black people in Spout Spring, not only to build community, but also as an educational tool with lackluster educational opportunities at the time. You know, the old books torn or whatever, there are people inside the church who may have some, some kind of gift, you know, musical gift, um, oratory, you know, skills. St. James is still open and practicing today, but other neighborhood staples like the Henderson School, a prominent black school, no longer remain. Some of that is due to politics, some simply notwithstanding the test of time. Rachel Whitaker, a historian with the Shiloh Museum of Ozark History, says seeing some of the historic buildings being removed is a complex topic. The erasure of any history is tragic, especially if it happens before we have a chance to fully document and research. Do you say that somebody can't come in and purchase land and do with it what they want to? Now the city of Fayetteville is tasking historic preservation consulting company Post Oak with providing a historical context statement on the neighborhood. A step toward deciding whether or not Spout Spring can be deemed a local or national historic district. It will help us have a much better understanding of the history and the, the patterns and forces that shape the neighborhood that, that we know today. Fayetteville's long-range planning coordinator, Britton Bostick, says the proposed survey area could be broader than what Post Oak finds. Bostick says if buildings are nationally recognized, they could be open to federal historic tax credits, which could have some advantages. When you want to take a building that's not in very good shape and invest a lot of money into making it um, come back to life again, let's say you need a, a new roof. Let's say you need to have the windows substantially repaired, and it's going to be very costly to do those windows. As for the neighborhood's current state, Killian says Spout Spring is beginning to liven up again. We are going to continue to grow with an effort to center the black heritage that is here. A heritage that will live on in Fayetteville for generations to come. Bostick tells me the review and paperwork related to Spout Spring potentially becoming a historic district will likely take at least a year. In the meantime, Killian tells me NWA Black Heritage will continue its work toward telling the stories in the neighborhood, getting it designated a historic district, and making it as vibrant a community as possible. Now, the proposal for Spout Spring to become a historic district hasn't come without opposition, though. Our Kayla Cade took a look back in March at one Fayetteville resident who put up signs saying no to a historic district, not in opposition to preserving black history, but for another reason. To read more about why, head on over to our website at knwa.com.